When a crisis situation develops and it involves a nuclear, chemical, or biological hazard, our military and our allies turn to DITRA to find solutions. Whether it's a chemical spill from a train accident here in the U.S. or a nuclear meltdown overseas, our military and other first responders call DITRA. But where does the call go? Meet Ron Maris, the branch chief for Technical Reachback. In this specialized area, crisis calls are handled 24-7 by his team of subject matter experts, as we saw in this training exercise. Uh, 1056, ambulance needed. What's your ETA? ETA, three minutes. Reach back, this is Rachel. Okay, let me put you on speakerphone. Guys, you have an iMac. Go ahead, sir. Well, we have a train drill at Alpha Brook Army Medical Center. Uh, do not know exactly what's on it, but expect chlorine. Do you know how much? Uh, four to five cars completely derailed. Not sure about the rest as far as damage. And do you have an approximate time of the incident? About 30 minutes prior to now. Sir, can I have your name? Kyle Dickert, Senior Watch Officer, DHS NAR. So we had four to five cars derailed outside the Brook Army Medical Center. Where was that located again? Uh, San Antonio, Texas on Fort Sam Houston. Do you have a location, President? Yes. We will give you a call back and we'll start modeling this right away. Thank you. Bye. Okay, Katie, you got GIS? Gina, and you have a presentation. The little weather is about winds from the southeast blowing to the northeast. Actually, they're pretty strong. 20 knots, so you're going to get a pretty narrow plume. Eagle 2 is about maybe 6 kilometers. Hi, watch officer. This is Rachel from Reachback. We have an initial plume. Um, the Eagle 2 is going six kilometers to the northwest. Green chlorine, one tanker breached. How much chlorine did you put out, Brendan? Uh, it's under IMAC. Okay, so we're setting up for a teleconference in about 20 minutes. Great, thank you. We should have our initial product out shortly. You're welcome. Bye. 